Welcome back to the Metasploitable tutorial. In this video, we're going to be looking at VNC running on port 5900. This is a very simple one. Go ahead and see if you can figure out now and pause the video. All right, welcome back. If you're able to figure this out, excellent job. This is a pretty straightforward one. Uh, and we're going to just use Metasploit for this one. Clear that up from last time. So if you just do a search for VNC, oops, VNC, we come up with all sorts of uh, different ones in here. But the one that we are going to use. We're going to check out this auxiliary scanner VNC login. So it's very similar to all the ones that we've used in the previous previous ones. We show, yeah, it's, it's basically the same options as before. So our port is already set correctly. Go ahead and set our hosts to our metasploitable machine. And let's set uh, username as root, because that's what we want to log in as. Oh, and I guess I should explain VNC, if you didn't figure it out from your research, is a remote control software similar to SSH or TeamViewer or anything. It basically it allows you to uh, control another computer remotely, which is, you know, kind of what we want to do. So we'll go ahead and uh, just set the username as root. The pass file, it already gives us a default one, VNC password. So this is probably, this probably contains a lot of common VNC passwords. Well, let's go ahead and run this, see what we come up with. Wow, and that was quick and easy. We have a login successful, username root password password so let's see if we can use that go ahead and use a VNC viewer and we'll point it towards our metasploitable machine it's asking for a password just password and there we go it looks like uh, we are root on our uh, Metasploitable machine. And yeah, has the correct IP address and everything. So, it's a very simple one. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.